What's up guys and welcome to the funeral of the Saucony Endorphin series. I'm just kidding, or am I? But welcome to the channel, it's Yolana from Subtle here and today we have a very special and very somber video due to the leaked pictures of the Saucony Endorphin Pro 4. Let's get into it. First of all, you might be wondering why I was sweating so much. It's because I just got back in from a run, but I wanted to get this video out today. I wanted to film it before my wife and kids come home. And if I'm screaming into the camera while they're having lunch, it's just gonna be no good. All right guys, so I'm gonna throw the pictures of the leaked Saucony Endorphin Pro 4 up on the screen right here real quick. But the reason this is so sad is because the Saucony Endorphin series has been my favorite lineup of running shoes in the past year. Uh, I got the Pro 3 here, I got the Endorphin Speed 3, and I got the Endorphin Shift 3. But what I love about this series, and particularly in the Pro 3, is that the design is just so classic and timeless. You have these other brands like Mizuno, Nike, they're trying to go that Mansori racing kit look for their shoes, just throwing in hard edges left and right. But the Saucony Endorphin Pro 3 is just like a classic Corvette. You know, nice, smooth, rounded edges. It looks timeless. You put it on your feet and you're ready to go out there and cruise. Let me fire it up so I can do a little analysis here on the visuals because it is not pretty. All right guys, so here we have it. This is the leaked Saucony Endorphin Pro 4. And let's just hope this thing is a prototype. They went from this classic design to the above and that's all I gotta say, man. So let's get into the specs. It looks like they're gonna retain that same 40 millimeter stack of power on PB. Looks like that same beaded Piva compound in the midsole. And what worries me a bit is in the forefoot, they have that different colored foam puck. And they have it bl a blue gradient in this Pro 4 Leaf picture that I'm looking at. So I'm wondering if that's gonna be power on HG. And I'm not the biggest fan of the dual foam midsole shoes. I have not met one that I like yet. I have two in my collection. I have the Audi Zero SL, which that dual foam in the forefoot, I think just makes it feel like I'm running in quicksand, quite honestly, uh, at slower paces. And then there's a similar thing going on with the Tracksmith Elliott Runner, where at slower paces, the dual foam, it just doesn't pop and react quite like we want it to. And what makes the Saucony Endorphin Pro 3 so great compared to other super shoes on the market is that it has a great feel at those slower aerobic paces. So if I'm gonna go out there and do a 16 mile long run with four miles warm up, six miles cool down, I know that the Pro 3 will be comfortable throughout the whole long run versus something like the Nike Vaporfly Next% Percent 2. I feel like I'm a deer in headlights. Every time I try to slow it down, I'm gonna twist my ankle or get hit by a car because I can't make room for stable landings with that heel being so narrow. The second concern I have is just the overall aesthetics of this. Why are we doing so much, Saucony Design Team? The classic, simple, timeless designs that you've been putting out on the third iteration of the Endorphin series are just beautiful. You know, it went from the first and second series, you had those horrible neon green and neon orange designs all over the place. Then in the third iteration, you cleaned it up beautifully and came out with some just really sleek designs. So this is a step back, it's a giant step backwards for a footwear kind here in the Pro 4 that we're looking at. Uh, up front at the rocker, it looks like we've retained a similar uh, nice forefoot rocker there. It looks like to be a bit more aggressive, maybe taking a page out of the Endorphin Elites book, which again, may be a bit of cause for concern because with the Elite coming out, the Pro 3 became this option for, you know, more casual runners who aren't trying to go sub 250, sub 230 in the marathon. That's where the Elite wanted to play. So with the Pro 4, I'm hoping they retain that same kind of simple, approachable DNA and they don't try to go for something that's overly aggressive that will make this uncomfortable for those marathoners who are finishing in over three hours, over three hours and 30 minutes. Overall on the upper, it looks like they retain a similar design and even though the, the back heel area of the foam has those ugly cutouts, it looks to still be stable and provide stable landings. I just, I just don't know what they're trying to do with those cutouts and the foam in the back. I mean, I, I just hope this is a prototype. All right guys, there we have it. I had to bring out the Pro 3 one more time because this is my favorite shoe and I'm just looking at the beautiful design of this. But let's hope that they make some changes to the Pro 4 before it hits the market. That was just an early prototype or something. 
I'm not too optimistic about this one, but thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for staying up to date on all the latest in the world of performance running shoes.